In this video, I'm going to review DJI Mic sound quality. When it comes to reviewing any microphone, the main focus is on how well that device can capture audio and also what level of sound quality have we managed to record with it. For those reasons, in this video, you are going to hear 99% of footage coming from DJI mic, including now, except 1% during which I allow you to listen and hear a different microphone for purpose of comparison. Also, I purposely won't add any background music, but except one short B-roll sequence. At the moment, I have my DJI mic receiver connected via TRS cable to my Panasonic Lumix G7. You can use any other TRS cable or the one which comes with the set itself uh, while I'm using the road cable. By the way, during the recording of another video, I occurred some audio interference while I had my DJI mic connected to my camera via TRS cable. And after engaging in some light research over the internet, I came across quite a few feedbacks um, reporting uh, the issue uh, with other cameras and other TRS cables. Apparently, the issue is with the TRS cables themselves, but funny enough, the issue also occurs while you're using the cable that comes from a DJI mic box. Uh, but that is uh, the subject and matter for further research and another video. The main reason of what I got the DJI mic is an internal recording. Sure, yes, I can really appreciate the good uh, quality audio, which is already synced with the video at the point of filming, which is very convenient. But in my opinion, what is even more convenient is to be able to have a microphone and a camera, regardless if it's a big camera or small camera, and not having to connect slash rig anything to that camera or on it, and still maintain the amazing audio. So with uh, DJI transmitters, I can record the sound of anything I want and without anything else needed. Yes, I know the sound will be in mono and yes, I know I will have to sync it if I want to use it with uh, video. But as I said earlier, the convenience is on the next level for me. For example, I don't have to use uh, the media mode with my GoPro if I don't want to. I can record uh, audio directly to the GoPro and to the DJI transmitter independently, yet at the same time. Before we move on, let me show you something interesting. When I set my DJI uh, mic to record in stereo while connected to my Panasonic camera via TRS cable, I only get one audio channel, so I'm recording in mono. But funny enough, when I go back to my DJI device, so DJI uh, receiver and set it to mono. Now my camera, my Panasonic G7 is actually picking up the two audio channels. So it records in stereo. So in essence, if I want to record in stereo, I have to set my DJI uh, receiver to mono while connected with the TRX cable to my Panasonic G7. And I did mention that in one of my shorts video. Now I'm going to give you additional tip bonus for all the iPhone users and if you want to record stereo sound on your iPhone when connected to your DJI mic with the lighting adapter, get yourself an app called Voice Record. There might be other apps similar to that, but this one works well and set that up to record in a stereo. And even though that your DJI mic will be only set to record in mono, because that's the only option you're going to be able to choose on your DJI mic, in that configuration with the iPhone, but the app itself will be capturing two channels, so stereo sound. And afterwards, you can use that track and sync it with your video, and that way you get stereo while recording on your iPhone. Now you are listening to the DJI mic audio recording, but it comes from the transmitter itself. So I'm internally recording the audio, and the difference that you're going to see is that it's recorded in mono because as i said earlier when you internally record it's only in mono until any further updates from dji so dji listen up and it would be nice if you could improve that and change the internal recording to 
stereo. By the way, I'm using my GoPro Hero 10 Black with the Skyrate anamorphic lens. And I do say that so you can have more of the audio footage to review and to listen into. And uh, the reason why I like this Skyrate anamorphic lens is because it gives this nice cinematic widescreen view on your GoPro and also improves a little bit the um, low light capabilities of this camera. And I also use the gimbal for GoPro Hero 10 at the moment. So mechanical gimbal and that is from the Inky Falcon Plus. The reason why I do so is because uh, the Skyred anamorphic lens works best with the GoPro when in linear. Linear without the horizon lock feature because horizon lock it's part of the hypersmooth stabilization so all in all the GoPro amazing stabilization feature but if you set your GoPro to for example linear and horizon lock or horizon leveling as a matter of fact not horizon lock horizon leveling means that when you tilt the camera a little bit it's supposed to stay leveled until you tilt it past 45 degrees then it will you know the frame will tilt with the gopro hero 11 you've got that now 360 um, horizon leveling like with for example the max lens mode or you get that with your gopro max so coming back to the subject or to the point i was making when you use the skyward anamorphic lens you have to use the um, linear field of view only because otherwise if you turn on your horizon leveling you'll start to see the lens in the frame especially when you do this so you will get that vignette in. yeah when I do that you see there's nothing in the frame and I also spoke about it on few occasions in my other videos when I was reviewing the uh, Skyward anamorphic lens and the gimbal itself so Inky Falcon Plus so that's what I do that and especially because we want to add this nice cinematic look now just for the comparison this audio is coming from the GoPro Hero 10 internal microphones just to show you the difference especially when we hear some wind so in my opinion the microphone of the uh, GoPro Hero 10 is a very good microphone and I like to use it I, I like to use the you know building capabilities of this microphone but the only thing is look if I'm talking and for example vlogging like I do now and if I turn away and I start to say oh look there look you see this thing up there, those trees, look how nice they look. I am moving my face away from the GoPro. So unless I do something like this and say like, oh look, I want to show you this, those trees there. But then if I want to show you those trees, I will have to turn the camera around, show you and say, oh look, 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 this is the area. And again, I am then moving away from the mic. So my audio will be affected. It's still good but it will be affected because if I'm bringing the camera closer, the mic comes closer. If I move the camera away or turn it away, the microphone also will turn away, right? So having a setup like this with the DJI mic where my camera is anywhere or can be anywhere, but my mic is with me, I always get the good sound quality. Now also we're gonna do some cool stuff with the skateboard. And again, I'm recording internally to the DJI mic to one of the transmitters so in mono and again I can record the video I can move far away from my camera because I am internally recording to the mic now we've got some wind coming through so I am hoping that this windshield is making an amazing work by protecting the sound from any extra unnecessary wind interferences and for those of you who don't know we've got true wind and that is the wind that we feel when it blows and we have to be stationary 
and also we've got induced wind and that wind we start to feel when we move in through ether so we have to be in motion so for example when you drive in a car open down the window and stick your hand out the window and you will see and feel especially that there is some wind pushing your hand backwards and when you come to a standstill you may even realize that there's no wind whatsoever and that is or that was the induced wind that you felt so what do you think about polish coastline amazing amazing fantastic beaches all around polish coast what do you say it looks absolutely fantastic and the sand which you get here on these polish beaches is one of the greatest one of the most wonderful sound again i'm gonna say sand not sound <laughs> at those polish beaches and by the way the sound quality that comes from polish beaches it's also amazing because you can hear this fantastic sounds of the seas, the sounds of the waves, and it just sounds absolutely amazing. There are different days where the sea has got different conditions. Sometimes it's more rough, sometimes it's more calm like today, but the sounds coming from the sea are just wonderful and fantastic every time. As I was saying, the sand quality, so S-A-N-D, on Polish beaches, on the coast of Poland. It's so amazing. It's one of the most wonderful sand you can ever experience anywhere in the world. And I challenge you to come to Poland and see it for yourself. We had some rainy days, so you can see that this sand is pretty wet, but underneath is, is quite dry. But what I'm saying is that it's so refined, it's so soft, it's so magnificent that you don't get to see that anywhere else in the world and not to underestimate any other places, but each place has got something very special and unique. This is what's happening here. Amazing sound amazing sand, an amazing environment all over the place. This is Polish beach. I also love to film with GoPro. It's such a low profile camera. It's so convenient and you can use it in many ways, in many situations and it's just fantastic. Yes, the image quality in certain scenarios, certain instances may be affected because of not enough light. So low light scenarios low light situations but as you can see there is also additional gear for it like for example this skyred anamorphic lens and you can create those unique look this fantastic type of quality creative footage i also use sometimes polar pro nd filters and uh, i'm gonna create just designated and dedicated video to the features of what I think uh, you should have it set to to get the most you know um, ideal perfect and then and, and quality footage I also uh, did mention in previous videos different tips and tricks in regards to GoPro and how to go about it so do check the playlists of my channel there's plenty of uh, great content which you may find interesting and beneficial so as i said to you earlier take what's in it take what's there for you and enjoy you know what i mean utilize the opportunities that are given to you all right and look all these birds by the way all these they sit in chilling here the seagulls all in the water just to round up this video in this amazing environment around this amazing beautiful nature i do recommend using and getting yourself the dji mic i think it has got uh, a great potential great audio quality and as always remember be inspired be creative and be active this is lassum athletics by lassum studios i am lassum by the way i'll see you soon